It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. With the All-Star game almost here, let's see how the West is shaping up. You look at the Pelicans. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. And, of course, the Clippers, two games back. Yeah, and I think the Clippers this season has been, it, it's been solid. But they just need to maintain their place in the standings and get 100% prepared here for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball. So if things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. So with Westbrook on the bench, here's who Teron Lue's going with. George and Leonard are the forwards. Norman Powell is out there with Harden. And it's Zubats in at the center position. And for the Pelicans, in the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Ingram at the three with Williamson playing the four. And it's Valanciunas in at the center. You look at the pace of the games today, Steve, the emphasis on shooting seems like it would have fit your game very well. It's much more wide open offensively, Kevin. I would have loved that to have operated in a little more space. Buckets. Look at CJ picking the defense apart, using the pick and roll to create openings. Kicks it out to Leonard. Outside, George jacks up a three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Leonard. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And it's the Pelicans' ball coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Really a, a disappointing effort. That, that game could have and should have been closer than it was. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. Just five on the clock. McCollum finds Valanciunas. Can't cash in from close range. And Smitty, we know when it comes to the Clippers, they seem to go as Kawhi Leonard goes. No doubt, Kevin. The only year they didn't make the playoffs with him, he was hurt. But when he's healthy, they are dangerous. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. Here's Valanciunas. Last game he had 12. Dishes it to McCollum. Kicks it out to Williamson. Just four to shoot. Shot from the top of the key. Jones, no luck. Harden against Williamson. George looking around. And the pass to Powell. Here's Harden on the win. And Leonard has it in the corner. Over McCollum. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The Pelicans have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Not the efficient start they were hoping for. Only one for four from the field. Here's Leonard. Pass to Harden. Kicks it out to Leonard. That shot is off. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. A three from McCollum. Drills it from outside. McCollum's got five. You have to get out there on C.J. McCollum. He is very good at torching defenses from deep. Back to George. Going inside, and he slams it down right on top of Brandon Ingram. Insane move by Paul George, a high flyer who can create in midair. Injuries have hampered Paul George over the last few years. But when he's healthy, he's elite. Greg, he's still a go-to option offensively who can guard the league's top wings. And as he's aged, he's really embraced a leadership role. The defense on George, a little too tight there. But to have any chance against him, you have to challenge him. 
Trey Murphy's checked in for the Pelicans. Jose Alvarado comes in for Jones. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's foul number two for him. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Here's Alvarado. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Great job keeping his eyes up the floor. Zion's teammate making it easy and getting wide open. The three from Harden trains it from beyond the arc. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And McCollum with the slam. Statement finish. CJ on the attack. To the inside. Here's Zubats. Williamson with the block. Knocked away. Leonard with the steal. To the middle. Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. And pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles. And it's George finishing it off. What can't Leonard do? Keeping his eyes up. Pinpoint strike. That's a nice play. Gets it from three-point range. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. It's Harden with the drive. Leonard with no one around. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Here's Alvarado. Yep, that one goes. Alvarado's got five. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Harden against Williamson. Outside for George. A three-pointer off the mark. And here is Williamson. Fires for three. And no good in the last second attempt this time. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the L.A. Clippers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. And we'll be back with you shortly. again for tuning in if you're just joining us we've played through one quarter of action so far and now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game how it's been going for the Clippers it's all about pace for me they have set the tone in that area and they are playing fast flying up the floor and putting all kinds of pressure on the defense and guys they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. We've got Brandon Ingram. He's out there with Jose Alvarado. Larry Nance out there with Trey Murphy. And it's Marshall in at the four spot. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Larry Nance. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody, whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David lets the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. Jones checked in for Najee Marshall. Here's Ingram. Another one falls for New Orleans. What I like about Ingram at this point in his career, very decisive in his actions. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. 
Do <laughs> they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. And the Pelicans making a change. McCollum's checked in. Now here's McCollum. His last outing, he had 24 points. Ingram outside. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Tice. Clippers leading by four. Man passes to Tice. And Westbrook throws it down hard. He's such a ferocious player. Westbrook nearly snapped the rim that time. McCollum against Westbrook. Bumbling with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Jonas Valanciunas. And maybe it's shocking. Maybe, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. New Orleans making a switch here. Williamson's checked in. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Williamson double team. Here's McCullough. And the Pelicans miss again. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And, and Smitty, you think about the year McCollum played with Damian Lillard. You have to believe they made each other better. I totally agree, GA. They both have high standards. Always working on their games. That's why they're two of the best guards in the league over the last decade. And the Clippers going with a whole new group out there. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. Look at George. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Now you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Like a gazelle cruising down the court. Kawhi is difficult to stay with in transition. Williamson looking it over. A three from McCollum. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. McCollum's got 10 points. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11 nothing run by the Clippers. And it's George finishing it off. So smart with the ball in his hands. George reads the floor well and takes advantage of what's there. Ingram against George. Ingram wide open. Offensive rebound. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Harden, no good. Pelicans trail by 12. Tries from 16. And Ingram the bucket on the assist by Jones. Ingram's got four points in the quarter. Nimble ball handling by Ingram, allowing him to beat the D and find his shot. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Here's Ingram after the Clippers pick up two. Nance's screen on George. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. The Clippers grab the miss. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And turnovers were the story for them when they saw each other last. I mean, just a heartbreaking way to lose the game. 36 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Ingram dishes to Nance. And it's McCollum in the corner. Pocket six. Nance sets a screen for McCollum. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Led the league in percentage from the line a few years ago. C.J. McCollum dialed in. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Nance. And so McCollum nails both of them. Clippers leading by 12. 
Leonard with a screen on McCollum. Harden kicks to Leonard. It's Harden with the drive. Not happening that time. His second miss and five shots. Williamson, the pass to Jones. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. A defensive miscue and her Jones made them pay. Here's George. And so it's Los Angeles going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joined by Coach Teron Liu. Coach, how do you think the team performed defensively in that first half? Well, they got to a good start, but then I thought we settled in and started playing a little bit more defense. Got locked in as the game went on. Thanks, Teron. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic in execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the Los Angeles Clippers. They're playing at a fast pace, seizing opportunities to beat the defense down the floor. That's created some mismatches that have been to their advantage. Running like a young Shaquille O'Neal. Well, I'm still running, Ernie. Running to the snack bar. <laughs> and guys, a look now at who's been really light. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Ten-point lead. So with Westbrook on the bench, here's who Teron Lue is going with. George oh, and Leonard are the forwards. Harden out there with Norman Powell. And it's Zubat sitting at the center, locking down the middle. Williamson with a screen for Ingram. Williamson outside. Jones against Harden. Jones kicks to Ingram. Shot clock at five. From 17 feet out, it's hauled in by Zubat. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Back to Harden. Outside, George. Over McCollum. George finds Powell. From the top of the key. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Pelicans trail by 12. Here's McCollum. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. 14 points for C.J. McCollum. Los Angeles has gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ballgame. Zubats a screen on McCollum. He lobs it up. Elegant with the rebound. Alan Jones has got four rebounds in this game. Cullen passes it to Williamson. They get the rebound. Jones. And the lead is down inside single digits. Herb Jones with great balance on that shot. Loves when he plays inside. Zubats a screen on McCollum. To the paint. Kicks it out to Harden. Back to Zubats. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Defense has to be all over Zubats on the interior like that. That's the only way to guard him effectively. And both free throws good for Zubax. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lu says this is definitely a championship team, but it's not going to just come 
We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Screen by Zubats. Harden the pass to Zubats. And Leonard has it in the corner. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Trey Murphy's checked in for the Pelicans. Let's take this opportunity to show you the teams that have been the best three-point shooting squads over the last ten games. The Clippers third. The way they space the floor is why they get so many open three-pointers. It's all about how they consistently move around the court. Tice against Williamson. Ingram a screen on Tice. Five to shoot. Here's Williamson. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And now Westbrook pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Westbrook is right on time and in great position on the fast break. Making him the right option to finish the job. Now here's Ingram. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. It's stolen by Tice. There's the lob to the hoop. And it's slammed in by Plumley. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Ingram against Westbrook. Ingram kicks to McCullough. Floats it up for Williamson. Kicks it out to McCollum. New Orleans moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. The baseline jumper goes down. McCollum's got 19 points. This is nothing new for CJ. He's scoring in bunches. His offense on display. Count the basket. And the Clippers lead by 11. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Man passes to Westbrook. Up top, Tice takes the three. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Ingram. Pass to Valanchunas. Addition now to McCollum. Let's the three fly. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. And the Pelicans with possession here. They trail by 11. Goes up at the strike. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got his third bucket of the night. With a menu of moves at his disposal. Ingram can surprise defenders with his pull-up jumper. Tice, no good. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Your Clippers lead by nine. On New Orleans, back in a moment. 51. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. Then there's Trey Murphy. Then there's Larry Nance, and it's Marshall in at the four-man position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Clippers leading by six. Plumlee with a screen on McCollum. Passes it to Mann. Now here's Plumlee. Over Marshall, and it's Plumlee that time on the assist from Westbrook. 
Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists tonight. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. No coverage. That's a well, that is why we call CJ a combo guard. He can score with the best, but he also can facilitate. Los Angeles calls timeout. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron Lou's huddle. Now, he told his guys not to get comfortable. Time out, time out. He said, so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort time out, time up. Out. Guys. All right, thank you, David. For the Clippers. So it's the Clippers now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Carton, that's good. And the Clippers lead by eight. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Outside, Jones. Powell against McCullough. Over in the corner, Marshall. Oh, good on the triple. And so Powell will bring it up for the Clippers. Put it on the wing. Back to George. He feeds it to Lennon. He dishes it to George. Harden against Jones. It's stolen by Jones. It's McCollum on the wing. And McCollum with the slam. Jones really showing he can dish it right on the money to his man. Leonard with a screen on McCollum. Takes it out to Leonard. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. So for the Pelicans, Valanciunas is checked in for Nance. Zion Williamson comes in for Marshall. And it's Ingram in for Trey Murphy. Now here's Jones. Inside. It's tipped. Here's Valanciunas. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got nine rebounds now tonight. Leonard finds George. Kicks it out to Leonard. Fires the three. Pelicans with the rebound. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Powell against McCollum. Here's Valanciunas. Plays it up off the glass. Yeah. Valanciunas has got his first points of the game. That's Valanciunas' game. Beat you with size and power. Takes the contact and completes the play. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. Now here's Williamson. Valanciunas with a screen on Leonard. Down low. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. Huge bucket there from the big Lithuanian. Valanciunas is stepping up. Harden against McCullough. A three from Leonard. Pelicans pull it in. Alan Jones has got five rebounds tonight. Inside, here's Williamson, and Williamson throws it down. Easy to be excited about Zion Williamson. His future is bright. Here's Harden. That's another one for him. He's fifth in just seven shots. And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Feeds to Williamson. And he goes right over Paul George and slams it down. Unbelievable hang time. Giving the crowd its money's worth. Go ahead, Zion. Leonard the pass to George. Leonard sets a screen for George. Shot clock at six. 
and it's Leonard missing. He had it rolling and then lost it for some reason. Let's see if he can get it back while it still matters. Money! A fearless competitor with a strong motor. You can trust Zion down the stretch. Leonard with a screen on Ingram. A shot by George, wide open. Connects from downtown. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're down by four. There's 48 seconds left in the game. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Alan Junis with a screen on George. Ingram finds Alan Junis. The big man, Alan Junis. Can he get the job done at the line in a big spot? And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. That's good. Going one or two from the line, and that narrows the lead down to just three. He gets them to within one possession, but that miss puts a lot of pressure on their defense. Harden against McCollum. Harden outside. Five on the clock. Yes! He will credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're trailing by five. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? An uphill climb. They need everything to break their way. They also need to get the best shot you can as quickly as you can, and then immediately, five. Nails the trade. Sometimes you got to let it go with the defense closing in. Jones did just that. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And here is Los Angeles now. Outside, George. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, James. How did you hold on to get the win? Our motto is keep fighting. Like I keep saying, we know how tough they are. Um, we got to keep fighting on both ends of the floor. Stay in attack mode, be aggressive. Uh, we just kept fighting for four quarters. And you were the last team standing tonight. Congratulations. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.